guys. Welcome back to another Laundry Chat. I missed y'all last week. Uh, if you're new, uh, I was sick last week, so I didn't get to film. I just did a get ready with me. I hope you'll, if you haven't watched it, you'll watch it after this. And uh, I got up in this morning in the mood to film. I have missed you guys so much. So, and my laundry, yeah, it has suffered. It's piled up. <laughs> you know, when you're sick, you just don't feel like doing it. And I got my coffee. So, I thought we'd have coffee and fold laundry. And chat, gossip, whatever you want to do, just let me know. <laughs> so, let's get this first basket going. So, how have y'all been? Have y'all done any fun fall activities? Uh, we haven't. <laughs> we like the last thing we did that uh, Kayla and I were down and uh, a couple weekends ago, and then we got to visit with them. But that still really wasn't a fall activity. But that's what that's that's about the extent of our fun so far. His last week was spent all was sick. Keith, bless his heart, he made it through without getting sick up until. Uh, he came home early from work yesterday morning, but he, not feeling well, but he ended up going on into work last night and worked all night, so he is asleep, and so I thought I would fold these clothes and do some chatting with you, and then after he gets up, we have to go to a, a, a board, which is not... Uh, well, if you're from around here, you would know where it was at. But if you're not from around here, you're still taller. Y'all yeah, probably mentioned taller. Anyway, I had to do some sharpening of some scissors for our lady to do some work. And then we're going on into Tyler because they're not far from Tyler. And we're going to Red Lobster to eat. Yes, we are. I have not ate at Red Lobster. And I don't even know how long, guys. I really don't. Uh, it used to be our place where we always went for anniversaries or birthdays. But it would just, it's just kind of been outside, out of mind, because it's the part of town it's in. It's just usually not the part that we're in when we're getting ready to eat. <laughs> so, so anyway, so we're going to do that. Because I think they have, I seen a commercial last night, what brought it to mind was I seen a commercial last night saying, that I believe they have all you can eat uh, shrimp right now going on. And I would love some shrimp scampi. I'm not that crazy about fried shrimp, but I love shrimp cocktail. I love shrimp scampi. But for some reason, I mean, I've tried some uh, fried shrimp that I've liked. But a lot of fried shrimp, I'd rather have the boiled shrimp. So, you know. <sighs> okay, let's see here. What else can we talk about? Last, last time I talked about Christmas holidays... See, I'm telling y'all, I should plan these out better, but I don't do that. I don't know why. I just get on here and just start talking, thinking, you know, it's going to come to mind. And it usually does. It always does. But it's like, I go down so many rabbit trails. Y'all may get tired hearing that rabbit trails. <laughs> so, I hope y'all have made it without being being getting this stuff i'm hope i think a lot of mine a lot cost mine with this weather i am telling y'all guys in texas you can experience all four seasons in one day one day <laughs> i mean you can wake up freezing by afternoon uh by mid-morning you have spring by afternoon you have fall and by a uh, night time you have winter <laughs> <laughs> uh. And I have sure missed talking to you guys. I, f I felt, I don't know, it's kind of weird. I know people that don't do YouTube or or maybe if they do do it, they understand. But I, it's like when I don't film, it's like I, I haven't talked to my friends in so long. And that's how it felt. I felt like so, dis you know, di you know, feel kind of disconnected. And when you don't feel good, it's, it's easy already. If you already don't feel good, it's easy for those kind of thoughts to come in your head and oh uh this weekend i did make my first christmas purchase gifts purchase so i have got that done so i did get a couple of christmas gifts uh bought this weekend i'm used to by now i'm already like i said on the ball and have it but not this year 
I had to straighten up some stuff so I'd have room to put these clothes on there. <laughs> ah. I don't know. And I still have more clothes to wash, guys. Like I said, this is clothes that I didn't fold last week. I got washed, but it didn't fold last week. So you can imagine the clothes I have. So we may not even <laughs> get to chat through the, all of it. Y'all may get, may get bored. Uh, so many people tell me, and it makes me feel so good when y'all tell me that y'all uh, fold clothes right along with me. Uh, and that, that always makes me feel so good knowing that y'all do that. Because <laughs> that's what I like to do. I like to watch videos and then uh, do whatever, you know, to do what they're doing. It motivates me. And I thought it was only me. And to find out it's not only me, that makes me feel great. And I had mentioned it on my other video, but prayers for Kayla, guys. After either during while she was here on the way here or on the way back or however, whatever happened, she ended up with a spider bite on her thigh. She ended up at the ER with it because it looked so bad. And it was, of course, effect infected. Well, she they gave her some antibiotic and stuff. Well, they called the hospital, called her when the culture came back. And come to find out, it's MRSA, M-R-S-A. So they have gave her another antibiotic. She's taking two antibiotics. She goes back to the doctor Thursday. I still keep trying to get her to call this because this doctor, her regular doctor appointment she already had. It's not about the wound. And I'm going, it scares me. But being a mama bear, like I said in the other video, it's hard. But when they're grown, you can only do so much. So she called the doctor this morning. And that I don't understand this. I don't know if Kayla, she's telling me this, so she, uh, I won't get, she won't get in trouble. Because I told her to ask if there's a way she could email or send a picture of the wound. So the doctor could look at it to see if she needed to come on in or could wait to Thursday. And she said that they said there was no way to, for her to send a picture. Now you tell me that doctor's office don't have an email? Mm-hmm. I worked for doctors for over 20 years. I know good and well they have an email. Now, they may not want to mess with it, but they have an email. <laughs> but uh, but then again, like I said, I know my sneaky daughter. She could just be telling me that to keep me quiet. <laughs> she, she, I told her, I, I told her, I said, Kayla, I said, do not be surprised if they make you go to a surgeon. Because, you know, with that MRSA, a lot of times that has to be debrided. And I know, oh. Lord, so, so she's not, she's not wanting to go any quicker because she's she's afraid she'll end up in the hospital. But I keep telling her, well, that, well, okay, fine, but the longer you wait, the longer you may be in that hospital. <laughs> so we'll see. Just keep her in your prayers, guys. I gotta do a laundry pickup. I drop some laundry. The good news is, we finished a basket of clothes already. I've got one more that I'm gonna fold with you. And then I got to get started on the, then I got to get some more in, on to wash and then on to dry. The cycle goes on. <laughs> the cycle goes on. I don't know about y'all. It's just me and Keith here. So I can imagine. I, well, I had kids, of course, but they're grown. But laundry is, an, it's like dishes. It's like a never ending thing. You can get your last, that you got, okay, I got my last bit of dirty clothes washed. Someone dirties up something. It's like I said, it's the same way with dishes. Same way. And that's about the only thing I half I ha was able to halfway keep up with was my dishes last week. And of course with Keith's help. And then of all weeks, <laughs> he had so many doggy appointments, which is good. We're not complaining, not complaining at all. That of all weeks for me to be sick and to, have, and to be allergies. So when it's my allergies are really flared up like that, I can't be around a bunch of strange dogs because it had made it worse. So I couldn't help them. But we made it through, guys. We made it through. <sighs> that down there and oh my gosh and then this weekend was Joshua's week uh, Joshua and them's weekend to go to a camp they go to every year for kids that have leukemia and they had a blast 
And then I just found out Kenzie has a volleyball game tonight, but we're gonna miss it because we can't we can't cancel this lady again uh, for sharpening her scissors because we had to reschedule it again last night. The first time I scheduled it, I scheduled it for the wrong day, so I had to reschedule. And then I had to reschedule last week because I got I was so sick. And of course she knows us, so it's not like but she she knows us, but still. And I said I cannot we cannot cancel again. We've got to oh sorry I didn't mean to shake y'all. Not no earthquakes going on, just the camera. But I did not mean uh I just I said we gotta go. We've got to go. So so we're going there. I said sharpen some scissors and then we will go on to Tyler, eat it red lobster. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. And then last weekend also, the weekend that Caleb and them came down was my class reunion. Of course, I knew Caleb was coming down, so I didn't I didn't sign up to go. But I seen pictures on Facebook where they posted pictures, and and of course, when I was in high school, guys, I'm telling you, I was an introvert. I mean, I I was one of those that was in all the pictures, you know. I wasn't in that group, <laughs> so I was shocked to see there was a couple of pictures of me in high school on on, on in the ones that they shot. Well, I didn't even know I had any. <laughs> but, so. uh you know, there's always the group of, and which I love, you know, outgoing kids. You know, they get the picture because they're outgoing and they're they're participating. I'm like, well, that wasn't me. I was okay. Well, let me tell you what I did. I worked in the library. <laughs> That's what I did for extra thing for high school. I worked in the library. Yes, I did. So that's how exciting I was. But that's okay. <laughs> I made it through high school. And I don't even brag. It's one of the pictures. Don't like I had three. That's one of the pictures was when I was in National Honor Society. And I did that being married and having a baby. So I am. So I'm going to pat myself on the back. Yep. 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 You may not have room to put all these clothes, guys. This, this is so oh, ridiculous. And then, can y'all believe, which I know everybody always says it, I say it, and then I think, you know, everybody says this, but can y'all believe it is already fixing to be November? It's like, I don't know, I'm telling you, if you're young and you're listening and you don't understand what I'm talking about and you think, oh, it's been a slow, I'm telling you, it seems like once you've reached, maybe even earlier, but to me, it was like once I've reached 30, it's like, wow, Whoosh. before I realize that here I am, 54. I mean, I'm telling y'all, it's crazy. And, and for, I mean, it's happened so fast. And when you're in the, in the realm of raising your kids, you're busy, you're working, you're trying to get them to their activities, you're trying to make sure they're fed, you're trying to make sure their clothes are washed, the house is kept, and everything. So you don't think, and you're wor uh, when they're not in school, you're worried about having to pay a daycare, if you can afford to pay the daycare and work. And then, and I can't imagine now, but uh, then uh, then when they get in school, you got to worry about daycare afterwards. You all oh, life just happens, and you're you get into you get into such a rhythm of being in a hurry and rushing and and all this that you don't realize it until look what I missed. I could have done this. I could have done this. And I'm telling y'all guys, I was able to stay home with my babies. Up until Kayla was like 18 months old, and that's when I went to work. And, and it's true what they say, because I remember my mom, my mom or dad one saying, once you go to work, you won't you won't be able to stop. And uh, I didn't understand what me. Oh, yeah, I can. Well, yeah, once you go to work, I mean, you're, you get relying on that income. And it's kind of like the old saying, you live on what you make. So then I ended up, you know, missing a lot, a lot. But, but you want your kids to have stuff that you didn't have, and but I am like I said, I am envious of these people that are homeschooling now. That's awesome. That wasn't even a thing really when uh, I was going to school. That really wasn't even a thing that I knew of. It could have been. I just didn't know about it. <laughs> My mom worked, so it was just like a natural, you know, part of life. You know, you worked <laughs> so. And you, your kids went to school. And back when I was a kid, 
my mom, you know, it wasn't a thing for the parents to come to your school parties and stuff. It was just, you had a school party. And with all your classmates and the teacher. And that was, <laughs> that was, that was it. Uh, and then, so I was, that's how I was. I never even thought about, you know. And then when my kids were smaller, it was a little bit of a thing for the parents that could uh, take off. That was close. I was always, I always worked too far away to do it but you know uh y'all probably are saying y'all repeat, you're repeating yourself i probably already talked about this before but anyway it makes me really if you're able to stay home with your kids it's a blessing be thankful because enjoy every moment it's going fast that was a long about way for me to t tell you that it goes by too fast enjoy every moment because before you realize it they'll be up grown married out of the house and you're like oh, where where did time go and both of my kids got married the same year yes Lynn and Jennifer they got married in July had a wedding uh, down in LaRue they have this arbor thing and so they had a wedding uh, there outside wedding in July oh it was hot I remember it was so hot and then in uh, October, Kayla and Aaron got married in the church and uh, at our church in Brownsboro. I had a big, uh, had a church wedding. So, Lord have mercy! It all happened in one year. We were so busy getting everything prepared. You know, you didn't have time really to stop and think about what was going on until after it was all over and Kayla was married and gone. And you come home and you look at the house and you realize. Your kids are gone. <laughs> your kids are gone. And you start a whole new season of your life. And that's that's more or less what happens. You start a new season. And some people, it, it did send me into a tailspin for a while. I will, I will admit it. And, uh, and it's just, it's called, what do they call it? The empty nest syndrome? Mm-hmm. But now it's like, it's been so long. I love when they come. I love when they visit. I love my grands. I love my children. But you're so used to being alone. You forget how it is to have a bunch of kids around. I'm not complaining at all, but you just forget. We're almost finished, guys. We're almost finished. Oh. <sighs> So after I finish the, the folding these with y'all, I'm gonna edit the videos and get my get ready with me going up, uploading because of my internet. So slow again. If you're new, I got very bad internet. So <laughs> for me to just upload a video, it might take anywhere from 12 to 14 hours. Sometimes or not. But anyway, so if you're new, I think I, you wanted it all that, didn't you? <laughs> oh Lord! And if you hadn't figured out, I'm look great, right, great. Right, if you're new. So that's why you should hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you like. Great, great. Guys, oh, hold in there. Hold in there with me. If you're still in there, if you're still here with me, let me know below if you're still with me. Oh, we're almost finished. I got the last bunch out of the bottom of the thing. Whew. Look at this. <laughs> got kind of wrapped up in a string or something ah. so you can tell they've been in the basket for a while okay who else has a has a hoarding problem with old towels i have it guys look at this look at this towel <laughs> but i can't get it it, it seems like i can't do it it's like well i can use it for my hair use it because i do like thin towels like this for my to uh, wrap my hair in <laughs> but i hoard towels now it's not so bad because i can just pass them on to the a pet shop the our grooming shop <laughs> lord help me but guys thank you so much for folding with me today we got it done now to go start the whole new laundry and i will see you next time bye <laughs>